things that I just found difficult to find on YouTube when I was learning how to do this stuff is just how do you do a really simple light rust repair? How do you get it down to bare metal? How do you treat it? How do you prime it? So uh, I'm going to take you through what I've learned and hopefully it's correct. So here's the rear engine door off the combi. Take, taken it out, obviously I've taken out the, the light, I've taken off the number plate. And so just for this demo I'm going to just take this bit down to bare metal and I'm going to treat it with a deoxidant and then I'm going to prime it. And I'll explain those steps as I go along. So to start off with it's quite light rust, it's nothing too dramatic in there. So I'm actually going to start with my sander. It's an air sander, so it's connected to my uh, air compressor that I got from Aldi for a hundred bucks. And so I'll start with this, this will just take a lot of the uh, easy stuff off very quickly. The sand is really good for getting it off just a flat surface. I've taken most of the rust off. I'm, I'm not finished here. I'll show you what I do to finish it off. But around here, on the on this side here, um, there's still some rust, but which would be hard to get out with the flat sander. So I'm going to need to do that with a wire brush. So I'll do that next. Be able to see this or not but I've taken this down mostly to bare metal there's a couple of things here I want to show you you might not be able to see it one is there's a sort of a bit of a, a dint here that must have taken a hit of some sort so I'm going to get in there and really give it a good going with a steel brush I'm going to clear that out to do an amazing job you probably like a professional would probably put some um, filler over that to smooth it out but I, I'm not going to and then down here I don't know if you can see but um, there's a slight coloration still just here and also just there. You may not be able to see that, but I really want to get those out because I think they're just traces still of a little bit of that spot rust, surface rust. So I'm going to give that a real going over just to make sure that we get that all out before I finish. So this is starting to get where I want it now. But there's still a bit here that's sort of annoying me a little bit. You, again, you probably can't see it, but anything that kind of, most of it now just looks all buffed up by the steel brush. But just here, there's like a little, like a little round thing. You can just see it. Well, maybe you can only see it in a certain light. I can see it and it's annoying me. So I'm going to use this particular device that I've found to be quite useful for sort of grinding out just a little bit, just gently grinding out. I don't know what it's meant to be used for, but that's what I'm using it for. Right, I think that this patch is now good enough. I might be wrong, but it um, looks to me like this is pretty good. It's pretty clear. So uh, I'm going to give it a quick clean and then uh, prepare it for a bit of deoxidizing and painting. So first of all, I just rub it down with a bit of cloth. So now that I've um, got it down to bare metal, I'm happy with it, I've given it a quick clean. I'm now going to tape it up with some masking tape to protect the paintwork. It doesn't really matter because I'm probably going to redo the whole door anyway later, but it's just to kind of show what I've been doing. So I'm going to tape it off. So I don't mind if I get some paint on here because as I said, this is a demo piece and I'll be going to take all of the paint off this completely uh, in the next week or so and, and prime it up properly, but this is just a demo piece so I don't care actually if a bit of paint goes around. But normally I've been just taking it off. Like you can see here, I've taped along there, 
and I've taped to either side of these other repairs that I've done just to kind of keep it clean but also to so it's clear what I have treated and what I haven't basically. Right so now it's ready for the painting bit. Okay so when I was talking to the guys at Paintmobile here in Melbourne um, about how to prepare bare metal for painting um, I think there's a couple of different ways of doing it and when I was on YouTube I got very confused by all the different options but what I'm doing and hopefully it's a good thing is I'm getting it to bare metal like that and really getting rid of all the rust I can see and then I rub it with this deoxidine which I'll prepare in a moment you basically do two parts of water to one part deoxidine you don't need much and you brush on onto the metal it starts to react you brush use this cloth to brush off the uh, sort of the excess liquid and then it dries very quickly and hopefully we'll see this on camera in a minute but it kind of changes color to a kind of a sort of a goes a little bit sort of whitey on the metal and that's when you want to spray it with this paint and uh, what they suggested to me was etch primer so I think etch primer is something that kind of is both a protective and a covering quality so it seals it up and also has a little bit of um, rust protection I think but I'm not sure so that's what we're going to do now rust taken down to bare metal really got the last little niggly bits out made it nice and clean deoxidized it taped it all off deoxidized it and then painted it I'll leave that for about 10 minutes this goes dry really quickly and I'll do a second light coat just like I do now and, and that should be it we're done so now that we've done this we've protected the metal what I have in mind, and I don't know if this is the right thing or not, but um, my logic says if I can get all of the rust out and then deoxidize it, which stops the rusting process that may have started while I was clearing it, and then seal it so no more oxy oxygen can get in there, that means it should stop the rust and there'll be no more rust going on that paint. And um, what I don't know is when I actually take it to the, the, uh, the spraying people, uh, who are going to do the final spray, whether they're going to take this off themselves or whether they're going to put the paint straight on top. That I don't know, I'll find that out later. But at least while I'm getting the worst of the rust off, it protects the metal because it keeps the air off it and it stops it rusting while I'm working on the rest of the combi. This may actually be the actual undercoat for the top coat. We'll see. Don't know. Find out later. 